Hi guys, it's Bo from here. I want to show you how a uh, complex controller works. See if I can uh, shed some light on how this works. It is kind of complicated. It's not very simple. It's not fleshed out all the way either. Okay, first things first is it It pretty much works. Oh, there we go. It works like uh, you can say when the steering wheels does or the vehicle controller works, except you don't see your controls whatsoever. You just see the top left, the complex controller and uh, it's fit just to work with custom key mappings. So say we go over here to the balloon deployer and we look at it and we get this little GUI screen right here. Uh, that will show us the buttons we can use and what the uh, complex controller will work with. So green, with one click, is a positive which is basically on in this case. And two clicks makes red which is off. So now that we have that set, let's press T here. And that's going to turn this on. The, the hot balloon deployer goes off, press G, and if it's negative, or the opposite is off, it has turned it off. Alright, and so now, if anything that you come across that has a function like that, uh, you can just set it in the uh, complex controller as one way or the other. Uh, this one, as you know, won't really do much here, since it's meant for the air. Water speed, it does help, but we don't have any speed. So you go to anything over here and we can set it on or off. And look at that. Now I'm, I'm assuming that over time this will get a little bit more complex and will work better. I have noticed a bug, which I will demonstrate for you shortly here. One moment. What I'll do is load up one of my propeller planes that I've loaded. And I will show you uh, there's an issue with the tail plane. Alright, let me see here. Let me bring this up. Sorry if I'm going a little slow. It is at night. Unable to sleep, so I'm making this. See if I could uh, make myself tired. <laughs> but okay. It's my newer craft. It's a wood plane. Propellers are. Oh well. I would call them fans. Very weak. They don't work that well for what, how they should. Regardless of the way that you place these tail planes, you can place it this, like this, it's, uh, flat out like this. It still makes no difference, unfortunately. But enough of that. I will show you how this works, and you can still see in the top left that I don't even see what I'm doing. There's no uh, nothing really telling me what to do. It's just that I know how this all works. I'm currently holding T, which is helping me take off. Uh, I just let go, and I let it function now on its own, and here it goes. Here's my propeller plane. Now, you see the good around this little bug or glitch, whatever it may be. I come up with a plan. <laughs> holding Y and I will now get these propellers to go off and help me turn. But that is so far what you can do with the complex controller. It's not that complex <laughs> once you get a hold of it. But it is still nonetheless very um, aggravating if you don't know what you're doing with it. And I'm sure there's still plenty more that I'm missing out on. And this plane bugs the hell out of me because it likes to do this nonstop. But enough of that. I will get back to you guys, and I'll have a Steam Guide up for this shortly. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> little bug here. I tried loading this plane in, and it seemingly destroyed everything. With a nice big hole. I, I don't understand, but... <laughs> no, 
Oh, they might as well share. 